Welcome back to Fintech Insiders. I'm joined by Tom and Jerome from Shieldpage. Gentlemen, how are you? Very well, thank you. You had a good show. You managed to figure out how to get a few extra drinks last night, I see. Yeah. <laughs> well done, well done. Uh, impressed with that. Um, really enjoying the show and um, glad to have you with us because um, just remind our audience who Shieldpay are. Okay, I can take that. Um, so uh, we, we built Shieldpay, um, we've been going for about two years. We built Shieldpay to uh, enable people to transact in a situation where they don't know each other or there's a lack of trust. So we take two individuals, we perform KYC, AML checks on them, make sure they live where they say they live and they own their own financial products. That's all done in about 10 seconds. Then they can join the platform, upload money to a secure uh, escrow account, which we call the vault. Uh, and then uh, we need a double authorization to release that money so it can be used in uh, e-commerce transactions and uh, auction houses, the sale of secondhand cars, and then we also have an enterprise side to our business as well. So it's that secure escrow piece is kind of the core of what you do? Yeah, the, the core is those verified users and then a double authorization to release the money. So that money can't be touched exactly. We put a lock on We put a lock on everybody else's payment system space. It's almost uh, like that scene in GoldenEye where you need the two keys. That's it's the nuclear movie football. reference. The yeah. nuclear football, yeah, yeah. yeah. It is, I mean, we have one clear mission which is to eliminate payment fraud. Yeah. That's a pretty clear mission. It is, it is. And it, it's why we built this technology, and it's also why, why we've used quite an old concept, which is escrow, but brought it up to date. So it's now instant, we can create it for any purpose we need to, and really it's down to that user and the customers. I, and so you've been going for a couple of years, have you any major clients, uh, and, and sort of who are your, your core customers? You sort of said a lot of stuff in to do with yeah, auctions. Yeah, so there's, a, there's a number of ways you can use this. I mean, so you can integrate us directly into the site, you can come to, to our app or our website and, and use us for, for your own purposes to start, start a transaction that way. So we're, we're on a, a whole bunch of platforms right now, um, from contracting platforms to uh, general retail. Our sweet spot is, for the consumer side of the business, is, is, is second-hand cars, classified websites, those th things where you've had high levels of fraud or a lack of trust between two people. Um, so that, that's If I pay that person, am I going to get that car? <laughs> exactly. And it's only when you've checked over that car and you've signed the document, you've kicked the tires, that's when you can release the money. So gone are the days of carrying the bag of cash around with you. I like it. It's great for the seller as well because you know that that person coming to see you has actually got the money. Yes. yes. So it, we, you know, we work for both parties in a transaction. How, how would you position yourselves against Klarna? I guess they've gone more after the sort of the retail, fast-moving consumer goods and, and sort of clothing and that yeah. sort of thing. Yeah, and so we, I mean, an element of our proposition is that it, it kind of is pay on delivery or pay after delivery. Um, you can even sign on glass to, to release the, the escrow. So it doesn't have to be the customer doing the authorization. We could delegate that out to a, to a, to a delivery company. So um, yeah, I think Klarna have got a great business. They seem to be more focused on the credit world, but we can, we can bring in any, any way to fund us. We, we can, we, we're ubiquitous, we can choose anything. So that, that's the big difference. Aha, uh -huh, interesting. Different market, I, I, I also, and different funding options. So tell me about your announcement today. You got something coming out? We did the, f uh, the first digital mortgage transaction. And what does the first digital mortgage transaction mean? Because if I sign up for a mortgage online, have I not done a digital mortgage? There, there are a number of different parties within any of these transactions. And it involves conveyances, lawyers, your bank, uh, the seller's bank. What we've done is streamline that process. So rather than moving the money to lots of different places, you move it to ShieldPay and then we then do the disbursement from there. Interesting that, yeah, you've got all of these people, instead of just being two people that have to release the funds for escrow, now you potentially have all of these organizations involved, all who have this different workflow, and all of whom need to move something along before it can be done. So is this something that you're intending to roll out? Was it a pilot proof concept or? It, it was the initial one and we're gonna do more. So we're working with a number of different lenders so we can make this more of a mass market proposition. Excellent, and what should we expect next from Shieldpay? Uh, I, think, I think look out for some interesting announcements, some exciting announcements with some big sort of e-commerce retail partners um, and ultimately watch us crush peer-to-peer -peer fraud. Thank you very much for being on Fintech Insider. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.